Suspended IBC Commissioner Irene Masis warns the tribunal investigating her and three other commissioners who resigned to be declared that it doesn't have the jurisdiction to do so. Masid says the petition before the tribunal lacks constitutional, statutory and functional foundation. The embattled IBC Commissioner wants the High Court to hear and determine the petition that is already before it to conclusion, adding that it has supervisory jurisdiction over subordinate courts. With two days to the start of the tribunal hearing over their conduct during the August 9th presidential election, Masit has appealed against last week dismissal of her preliminary objections by the tribunal during their status conference attended by interested parties to the petition. In her 15-page final submission, Masit forced the Ju Justice Agri led tribunal for determining her preliminary objection prior to tribunal proceedings. Commissioner Masit in her 12-point republished preliminary objection on the tribunal to determine it doesn't have jurisdiction to hear and determine the petition before its conclusion, adding that it raises up to its constitutional occasion and holds that the petition before it has no constitutional, statutory and functional foundation. The suspended IBC Commissioner wants the High Court in Nairobi to be the sole judicial entity in charge of hearing and determining the petition against Gerera IV. Masit urges that the High Court supervisory jurisdiction in Article 165 Clause 6 and 7, the Constitution states that the High Court has supervisory jurisdiction over the subordinate courts and over any person, body or authority exercising a judicial or quashing judicial function but not over a superior court. On Monday, December 19, 2022, the High Court in Nairobi, in a petition registered number E 529 of 2022, we rule on whether the Justice Muchelule led tribunal has jurisdiction to hear and determine the petition against the Cherera 4 to the conclusion.